did not. Well, good morning, and that was Welsh. Yes, I'm on my way to Wales. I've left Manchester. So here I am zooming along in the train on part of my trip to the UK. I decided I'd pop into Wales just for a few days to explore, to do some hiking, to see some castles, and I don't know what else. So stick around and I'll share it with you. So as you can see, the scenery was fairly varied and it was lovely being able to go right along the coast. That was a really pleasant surprise. And I thought, wow, I didn't actually know that I was going to be so close to the ocean. So it looked like it was going to be fun and there's Conwy in so the distance. So that was a really quick trip to Lidno Junction. I was busy editing and believe it or not, I nearly missed my stop. How funny is that? I've only just got out of the railway station and already it's so beautiful. So I'm guessing this is part of Conway Castle. This will be the walls to the castle. I'm going to go and check it out. Look at it down there. So that didn't take very long to get rid of the hustle and all get away from the hustle and bustle of Conway. Yeah, it's like I said, I've just come here and the lady said to me, oh, something about a festival. And I'm like, what's the festival? And apparently I've come here on the weekend that there's a pirate festival. So I knew nothing about that. Occasionally I'll think to look at events, but I didn't in this case. So I guess it'll make the town fairly busy. But I've planned to do some walks while I'm here, so as well as checking out the castle and things, I'll just head out of town, I think, and wander, which is exactly what I'm doing now. So it is a beautiful temperature to go for a walk. There's a cool breeze, but it's certainly not cold. And in fact, a few minutes ago, I was down to short sleeves, but that lasted all of 10 minutes. So, so unlike around Hebden Bridge, the tracks here aren't signed and I'm finding some interesting little tracks. I mean here I'm up by the Conway Marina, so very clear walking path, but I've just got to watch out and keep checking my map. So the path that I'm on now is part of the Wales Great Walk, that's W-A-L-E-S of course, and looking across there is Lalando Junction, I think. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but I'll put the name in when I'm doing some editing. But yeah, it's a lovely um, passageway, that's for sure. And I've just met a couple who have reassured me that I can do what I intend to do, which is walk along the coast and then go cut across to go back to the hostel. So once again, I reassessed where I was going. I talked to another couple who do a bit of hiking and they'd come over this mountains and I thought whilst I don't think I'd get lost because I know my routes I don't actually know how long it would take me because my mapping system wouldn't take into consideration the hills which obviously will slow me down so I'm going to head to that lookout up there see how I go. So there's supposed to be a track there and I think I can see a faint smudge but that's all through Bracken. I don't think I'm going to that lookout. I'll look for some tracks to see if there's any others. Well I couldn't get up here the way I had first planned but then I kept walking, kept looking at my map and I found a track that would take me to that top of the hill.
So this is looking down across um, Conwy, where I was staying, and then across the estuary to La Dundon, no, no, however you say that. So the hill I was on before is down there. And I found that there's another hill higher. So enjoying the scenery, climbing the hill. And it's over there with that curly rock. Go and check that out. So I was trying to see where the YHA was, and I think I spotted it. It's almost the ugliest building in town. I'll zoom in. That multi story building there on the left is the multi story one. Not pretty. So I'm above that curved rock now, and it keeps going up. Good training. Well, here I am. Definitely the top now. Look at all those wind turbines. So it's 8 o'clock in the evening, I just walked down to Conway to get some groceries so I could have some dinner. Fish and chips apparently is the meal of the day. So many people getting their fish and chips. And it's lovely and of course this is the high street. Oh good morning from Conway. This morning, I'm going to walk around the city walls and enjoy the beautiful views. This is such a neat little town, I love it. I don't think I've walked around city walls since I did the Great Wall of China. That was a long time ago. Video you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so I decided to walk from Conway to Ludno, and it's been a very windy coastal walk until now. And now I'm getting up near the hill that, and I've been walking for about an hour. And there's a hill I'm going to go up to get the awesome views. people to come up here today being Saturday to have a picnic. What else do you do on a beautiful day in Wales, right? Who would have thought? And there we are. That is Snowdonia National Park down there. And Mount Snowdon, which I have climbed many years ago, is way down there somewhere. Oh, and there goes the tram back down again. There seems to be three or four trams. So I'll show you um, the outside of this building. It is certainly not the most attractive building you've ever seen. But it has awesome views, right? Oh, isn't it lovely when you come across something like this? Just down the hill. No way.
Yes, it's another cloudy day, but our fingers crossed it will be as sunny as it was yesterday. So I'm standing outside St. Mary's Church in Coed, but I'm actually going to get a bus south of here to a place, and I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, Betsy de Coed. Um, it's about an hour on the bus, and I hopefully I'll do some walks there. So fingers crossed it's a good day and yes I have got my main pack on I want to get used to walking with it before I do my big hike in less than a month's time I had a bit of time before my bus was due so I did some more wandering around Conway village so you see all sorts of things in Conway even the smallest house in Great Britain how about that and Last year when I was in Canada, I saw what I thought was the smallest house in the world. So it definitely was smaller than this one. But this has a fireplace even. Very cool. So I've been trying to work out how old some of these buildings are in Conway. And this one here is 1576. It's really hard to get a decent photo because the laneway is quite narrow. it immediately started raining so I put my coat on and then it immediately stopped too funny but I have my coffee I found a trail on the map so I'm gonna head off and enjoy a little gorge walk and hopefully it doesn't rain too much well so far so good I'm taking the road to the start of the walk uh, I could be doing some trails but I thought I want to do as much as I can further from Conway Coed and then sorry that was Bitwitz Coed and then I'll work my way back because there's very few buses and I don't want to leave myself short where I have to really rush so as you can see incredibly pretty This walk is called Fairy Glen and it's really lovely. There's a few other walkers around which is really nice 
It is Sunday, Sunday morning, so I expect to see other people, yes, and I've got my pack cover on. It's been intermittent drizzle, so I thought, oh, rather than getting things wet, I'd pop my cover on. Ah, oh, the sun just came out at the right time. I've been walking along this river for a little while now. Well, I've come down to a really pretty place, this Fairy Glen. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? That's really good training this. I just came down some quite steep stairs, so I have to get used to doing that sort of thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> I know I keep mentioning this big walk that I'm doing, but yeah, I'm really, really quite nervous about it. Aren't they beautiful? Hey, good morning. Good morning. You come to have a look. So the second part of my walk this morning was to Conway Falls. And here I am. I took a different route on the way back and boy was it worth it. Look what I saw. I just wonder how old these stone walls are. Certainly not something we have in Queensland, Australia. So I'm now back in the village of Betsway Coed. That was a fantastic walk. I came back a different way, very steep going up, but I survived. And I didn't really notice the weight of my pack, so that's really good. Just stopped to have a look at St Michael's Church. I love the way actually all these headstones are quite overgrown. Just gives more character to the place. And the misty sky. Very cute. So I'm back in town of Betsway Coed. I've just done another little walk around the golf course. Went to the info centre, which showed an excellent um, movie video from the perspective of a bird all over Sidonia National Park. And now I'm going to wander around the shops and just have a little look and get to feel this very popular little town. And this is actually right beside town. It's this really sweet bridge with some awesome houses. I have to be really careful because there's no footpaths and there's lots of Sunday traffic. And there's one right beside me. And there's even a railway station here. I didn't know I could have caught the train down, but I'm really glad I caught the bus because it took me through all those laneways and stuff, which was <laughs> really fun. So I've still got some time to kill while I'm here. There's only like four buses a day. So the last one leaves at 5.35. So I don't want to miss that, but I've got about three quarters of an hour, so plenty of time. Well, good morning. I've left Conway now, and I've just had a spontaneous stop at Chester. So I'm actually on my way to Liverpool, and I thought, well, I've been to Chester before, but there's actually not a lot to do in Liverpool, I understand, and I do have a few days there. So I thought, seeing as I had a change of trains at Chester, I would stop here and have a look around this beautiful walled city. So here I go, off exploring Chester for the day. Yes, complete with my big pack. It'll be interesting to see how I go. I might have to pop it into some storage areas. Well, I might just leave you there as I hopped off the train going to Chester. So you can see that I really had a good time at Conway and at Bitsway Coed and did lots of walking, lots of taking in the climate and the culture and great fun to be where the pirates were too. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.